look outside. Second day of spring, great temperatures, but it's all, all going to be changing. <laughs> Unfortunately. Mm, especially this <laughs> yeah. weekend. Well, you know, we were almost 70 degrees this afternoon, and by tomorrow morning, it's going to feel like the high teens, low 20s, wow. believe it or not. Yeah, we're still going to have a little wind, but then the temperatures are going to dip too. And then, as Nikki said, we've got some rain on the way here for the weekend. So you want to make some adjustments to your weekend plans on Saturday. Sunday's going to be the better day. Saturday right now looks like a complete washout across the area. Now, we did see a few showers off towards our north and east across parts of uh, southeast Pennsylvania into far northeast Maryland. So perhaps maybe in parts of Hartford and Cecil County you saw a couple of showers this afternoon. But it was just kind of on the tail end of this system that's making its way through the region. And that is what's going to bring the colder weather to our area tonight through tomorrow night. We will start to modify some on Friday. But really, the big story is going to be the coastal storm that's going to be arriving. We could be looking at a heavy rain threat and the possibility of some minor flooding across portions of the region. As look at these temperatures, though, this afternoon, not bad. Ocean City, 69 degrees. Lexington Park at 71 degrees. 66 for Annapolis, 65 here in Baltimore. But notice how much colder it's getting out towards the west. Now, that wind advisor remains in effect here until 8 o'clock. Frederick County points westward. Gusts up to 50, still possible here through this evening. But the winds do start to... Uh, back off a little bit here later tonight. They'll be out of the northwest. Gusts up to, up to about 20 miles an hour, even into tomorrow morning. Look at the temps, though, dropping from 60 here right around 6 p.m. all the way down to the low 30s here by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. And those wind chills, as I mentioned, are going to be even lower than that. So a chilly start to the day here across our region as Futurecast shows those wind chills getting down here by tomorrow morning. Upper teens to lower 20s for our area, even colder out farther west in the western Maryland, we can see wind chills down close to zero at, at times. But notice how the rain chances spike up here as we go into your Saturday. Right now, we think that Friday, for the most part, is going to be dry. We may start to see some showers coming to the area by late Friday night, but it looks like Saturday morning is when we're really going to start to see that rain ramping up across the area. Notice what happens here. Friday morning, we've got sunshine across the area. Clouds will thicken throughout the day, and then we're going to be tracking rain. And look at all this rain that starts filing into the area here by Saturday morning and into Saturday afternoon. So this is kind of your rain intensity scale here. Saturday morning, that's where we're going to see some of the heaviest rain through early Saturday afternoon. Things should taper off quickly, though, from west to east as we go into Saturday night. So we don't expect this thing to last that long, but it will cause some issues here while it lasts in the form of heavy rainfall, ponding on the roadways, and maybe some minor flooding in some spots. So the alert day that we've issued goes into effect on Saturday. is for a locally heavy rainfall. Isolated flooding will be possible, and there will be some gusty winds. I don't expect them to get too strong, but there will be some gusty winds here across the area with this system as it makes its way through. Showed this to you yesterday. Going to show it to you again to kind of give you an idea of what our forecast models are showing. Anything in purple? is basically east of I-95 and showing rainfall tolls in excess of an inch to an inch and a half. Possibly we could see up to three inches in some parts of the area. It really just kind of depends on the eventual storm track. So again, Friday night, the evening looks dry. And even in the late Friday night, it looks dry. It's really not until midnight we'll start to see some of those showers moving to the area. Saturday morning, moderate to heavy rain. The heaviest will be east of I-95. that will continue into the afternoon. And then we expect the rain to taper off fairly quickly as we go into Saturday night. Tomorrow, though, chilly start to the day. Sunshine. Highs, though, only topping out in the upper 40s to around 50. First alert, 7-day forecast. There's your alert day for Saturday. Good soaking rain, so have some indoor plans here, some indoor activities for your Saturday. Sunday looks better, and then looks like things start off nicely here next week before we see our next chance for rain on Wednesday. Parents, buckle up for Saturday. Yeah. It's going to yeah. be a long day inside. It's wet. <laughs> All right.